Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to change uh, quadratic functions that are in vertex form into standard form using a series of algebraic steps. Let's look at that right now. Right now to convert a vertex form equation like that into standard form, we're going to use uh, algebra skills that you're probably already familiar with. For starters, we need to expand this whole expression. Now it's 2 times this binomial square. We need to expand this binomial first, and then we can multiply it by the 2 out in front. So we're going to leave the 2 alone here at first, and we're going to multiply that out. It might help you to realize that squaring that binomial is the same as having two of them there, right? So common mistake is that someone writes that this is equal to uh, x squared plus 9, but you're forgetting that middle term if you multiply this out. The x squared is there and the 9 is there, but you need the, the middle term, which is going to be 6x. And then, of course, we still have this 2 out in front and we still have this 4 on the end. Next step is to multiply out that 2, expand that, and write it without those brackets. And we will have 2x squared plus 12x plus 18. And then the 4 left on the end. And the last thing you can do is combine those like terms together there and write it as, we'll put y equals at the front. Probably should have done that all along. 2x squared plus 12x plus 22, all right? Every one of these expressions is all equal along the way. And more importantly, this original equation that we have for the function is equivalent to this new one we have here. They'll give the same values. Any value you pick for x is gonna give the same value for y. You haven't changed anything. You've just rewritten it in a different form. You can check this or verify this in lots of different ways. If you wanted to, you could graph both of them using technology and just confirm that the graphs are the same. It's not a way to prove they're the same, but it's a way to check. A really quick way to check uh, is to just use a single value. So take uh, an, a value that's easy to use and put it in for x here, see what you get for y, and then do the same thing here. You can probably even do that mentally if you want and see that you get the same value there. So I'm going to choose something that's that's easy here to work with in my head. Like, uh, I'll, I'll leave that space there because I'm gonna pick a value in a second. Uh, I'm gonna pick a value of, let's say zero because that makes it pretty easy to use. So this is three, and then I have to square the three. So I have nine, and nine times two is 18, and 18 plus four is 22. All right, now I'm gonna do the same with this one down here. So let me write it out here. Two, 12, plus 22, and I left those spaces because I wanna put a zero and they're the same as I did up above there. So the nice thing is this gives me zero, this gives me zero, and I'm just left with 22, the same as what I got up here. All right, so that's a quick check. It's only one value. Again, it's not proving they're the same, but it's a way to check that you've done it right. All right, let's do one more here. We're gonna try and convert that one to standard form using that same process. We're gonna expand this binomial square there first. X minus four all squared is X squared and plus 16 at the end. And don't forget that middle term is gonna be double that, minus eight X. We still have the minus 10 in front. And we have this minus 25 out there. We'll deal with that at the end. We need to distribute that, multiply that out. This is going to give you negative 10 x squared plus 80 x minus 160. This negative in front here is going to change all the signs of everything in that, in that bracket. And then last step, just combine those two things together. So we've got negative 10 x squared plus 80 x minus 185. All right, again, this final uh, equation of that function is equivalent to this beginning one. They're just written in different forms. All right, you could verify that one as well the same way. Choose, again, I think zero is the easiest number because if you put a zero in here, you've got four squared is 16. 16 times that negative 10 is negative 160. And minus 25 is 
negative 185. If I do the same thing down here, the nice thing is this is zero, this is zero. And I got that leftover minus 185. Again, it's just a quick way to check that you haven't made a mistake on any of the numbers in there. All right, that is changing vertex form into standard form.